here we are, Universal Orlando. We are waiting in line right now to pay for parking. This is what we are dealing with for the parking rates. General parking, $27. Prime parking, $60. Bus RV parking, $32. Also, closing times, Islands of Adventure and Universal close at 10 p.m. Volcano Bay is closed today. It's pretty darn cold, so I don't think anyone wants to be there anyway. And City Walk closes at 2 a.m. So, I got lots of, lots of time to do what I need to do today. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. Today we are at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. Uh, specifically though, we are not, we're not actually going inside of any of the theme parks today. We are actually just hanging around City Walk and kind of walking around and uh, seeing what kind of mischief we can get into basically. Um, this is something similar that I did a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago now actually. Um, over at Disney when I went to Disney Springs and I hotel hopped around uh, the hotels around the Magic Kingdom if you remember that and it kind of ended up being like a how do you spend a day at Disney soaking up the Disney magic without actually spending too much money on it so that's kind of what today is gonna be but for Universal um, so we're going to again like walk around city walk and um, maybe even walk well I don't know this one's gonna be interesting because I don't have that much experience with city walk with Universal um, not as much as with Disney so uh, there's some like tips and, and ideas that I have but this is also gonna be kind of a learning experience for me especially because I haven't been here in a little while um, specifically like around like the city walk area so anyway without further ado let's get in there also I should mention right off the bat this is the very first video that I'm making with my brand new camera my brand new camera if you haven't seen the video uh, probably not before this one actually but a video that I made yesterday <laughs> I bought a brand new camera and this is my very 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 first video with said camera so apologies in advance if the audio is weird if the video is weird if anything is weird let's just blame it on the camera how about that um, so anyway very special moment I have a camera now yay okay enough talk let's go and as I am walking towards the escalators of death um, Right off the bat, I paid, as we saw, $27 just to park my vehicle. And um, as far as I know, there's really no way around that, uh, more or less. And what I mean by that is there's no other like place that you can park. Like this is their parking spot for their theme parks, for City Walk, for Volcano Bay even, their water park, as far as I know. So, yeah, you are kind of stuck paying that amount of money, which is different from Disney, where you can park at Disney Springs for free. So, right off the bat, we are $27 in the hole, as they say. All right, we have made it now officially inside of City Walk. So, what you're first greeted with is, of course, the Bubba Gump Shrimp restaurant and there is the movie theater that I was talking about. I'm not really sure why I thought it was an AMC. Maybe because that's what's at Disney Springs. I don't know. But there you go. There's the there's the movie theater there. Okay, so another thing that they have is this mini golf course behind me. This here. It's like a drive-in themed mini golf course. And um, it is extra. It is an extra cost and it is $19 for 18 holes. $19 for each person uh, to play at this mini golf place. I'll, I'll get some shots of it in a second because it looks pretty cool, but um, it is an offering. It is an offering that they have here. Also, sitting in this, uh, sitting in this 
car here, drinking my coffee. Okay, let's go. This car, this car right here. That's where I was sitting. Yeah, uh, Hollywood Drive-In Golf. That is the theme of this mini golf and it's kind of like tucked away in the corner here right near the entrance of where you walk in from the escalators of death at Universal. Um, yeah, like I said, was uh, looks pretty cool. Never done it myself, but uh, it is here. So right across the street, we have a Starbucks, which I bet is bumping right now. There's also a pizzeria over there. I'm, I can't remember if I've eaten there or not. I may have. That's been there for a little while. And then um, a random uh, surf shop in here in case you need your uh, beach gear well you can get it right here in city walk all joking aside though it is pretty cool that they have stores like this right outside of theme parks because you never know when you're gonna need extra clothes say you get super super wet on a ride you could pop out here at city walk in one of these stores grab some real clothes or like shoes they have flip-flops here and real shoes as well they've got hats that's helpful bags things like that you know sometimes you don't realize like what you need until you need it so i think it's actually really cool that they have stuff like this these are cute actually the unfortunate part though is that you are dealing with name brand items so like these little shorts here as cute as they are 42 US dollars. Back, back you go. Back from whence you came. They also have a Universal Studios store out here and it is a huge, huge store. So this is one of the other tips that I could give you if you are looking to purchase some Universal merchandise. You don't have to only do it in the park. You can do it at City Walk as well i think they have pretty much everything in here at least all the generic stuff but look like they're advert advertising for simpsons here there's minions and of course right now they're still doing mardi gras things as well so you can get your mardi gras merchandise here either at the very beginning before you even get inside of the park or at the very end if you forgot something you can pop inside of the store and grab it. Inside the store now, I gotta prove my point. And lo and behold, we've got some Simpsons stuff right off of the bat. Simpsons, one of my favorite TV shows. You've got your Minions gear, of course. All the Minions and uh, Despicable Me things that you could want. We've even got some Marvel stuff very controversial topic. If I actually like cared about Mardi Gras, sorry, hot take, but I, I, this isn't my, Mardi Gras is not really my jam, but this shirt is still pretty darn cool. So, yep, they've got your merch here. They've got your Mardi Gras merch. I'm not going to belabor this moment too much. There's a lot of merchandise in here. I just wanted to show that you could also get Harry Potter stuff here as well. Now they have a lot of generic kind of stuff, the backpacks, the mugs, uh, things like that, that aren't necessarily like world specific. And what I mean by that is they're not like wands, for example, but they do have wands, for example. So if you missed out on getting your wand, you can, uh, you can get them here. This is uh, Grindelwald's wand. Yeah, they have they have a few. There's Scamanders, The Strange, uh, Victor Crumb. Yeah, so they have they have a bunch of wands here as well. So if you missed out on that, you can get them here. Back outside now, and they have an orchestra that's about to play. Looks like they have a Stars performance program here. It's probably a local middle or high school orchestra coming out here to play that's really cool i actually back in the day back in my day i did a i did a few of these myself for both orchestra and marching band um i don't think i ever played here at universal but i definitely played at disney doing the same thing it was a really cool experience and just for reference here so that's where you would walk out from the uh 
from the parking garage. And then that is the store that we were just in. Here is the orchestra that is playing right now and of course starting up right this second. And over here is another Universal store. This is the Legacy store, so it has a bit more old school items in there. Uh, Jay and I, Tampa Jay and I, checked that store out uh, when we were here for New Year's Day, if you remember that. Uh, so I'm not gonna, I probably won't really pop in there or show you too much, but some really cool stuff in there. And then down this way is where you would go to Islands of Adventure. And there's actually like two levels to City Walk. So there's this lower level that we're on right now, but there's also this top level up here, up here, that has more of the clubs and the nightlife and the restaurants, all of that stuff up there. And I'm gonna go up there in a little bit, show you all of that um, as well. Right now we're staying on the bottom level. I will get to the top in just a sec. I think at this point I'm going to head that direction, more towards uh, Universal, the way that you would walk towards Universal. And then we'll do a loop, come back around this way, and then head up upstairs, do the second level. That's my, okay, that's the plan of attack. Let's go. We're actually right next to the Universal store again, and they have a bunch of other stuff that direction. They have a something called a bread box, handcrafted sandwiches, a Menchie's frozen yogurt, a tattoo parlor, if you can believe it, and also the uh, Burger King. But of course we have to acknowledge Voodoo Donuts. So Voodoo Donuts, if you don't know, they are obviously a donut shop and they do those like funky donuts. This is actually kind of an example, this weird chair here, where they put like a bunch of stuff on top of the donut, like candy and cereal and all all kinds of stuff. They're those kind of donuts, and they're pretty they're pretty good. We actually had, I think actually Voodoo Donuts originates in Oregon, uh, where I used to live in Portland. So I've I've had Voodoo Donuts quite a few times, but over over in Oregon, I haven't had these ones. I imagine they're exactly the same. It is also it's bumping like there is a long long line. For Voodoo Donuts, they are very, very popular. See a lot of people walking around with uh, with those pink boxes. That that person there has a whole stack of of pink uh, boxes. I'm also noticing uh, mobile pickup. I guess you could mobile order some donuts and just pick it up right over there. I think I will save kind of this for the end, or just kind of gloss over it right here, because there's not really too much to say. There's a Menchie's here where you can get some frozen yogurt, that's always good. Again, like a tattoo parlor, like go figure, but if you wanna get some ink here, well, you have the option to do it. Can't do that at Disney. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, there's a Panda Express, a Moe's, and a, and a Burger King up here as well. So those are some pretty good options for uh, after the theme park or even before the theme park if you wanna get some, I would hope, cheaper food options than what you're gonna get inside of the inside of the actual parks. We're standing now directly outside of the gates for Universal Studios Florida. Again, they are still celebrating Mardi Gras here. That's always fun. There's the famous swirling ball right over there. We are not going inside of the gates. We are just standing wistfully outside, hoping someone will take pity on us and buy us a ticket. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is not the goal for today. City walk is the goal for today. Also this, this out here, this is the goal for today. I have never ever walked along this path. I have no idea if I even can walk along this path, but we are gonna find out today, folks. I have no clue where this goes either. No idea, so we, again, hopefully, we're gonna find out today. If you're familiar with the channel at all, of course we have to find our hidden out of the way spots where it's a little bit quieter. And uh, this is where I am right now. So we were just over that bridge there and then I went down the stairs here and uh, it's pretty quiet here. Lots of places to sit. Keeps going down that way of course. And it's a really beautiful view of City Walk, this side of, of City Walk, and the boats, the 
pretty water. Yeah, it's really, it is quite nice. Okay, part of this is also going to be a lot of story, story time, a lot of sharing. It's not a Chris the Girl vlog without some sharing, without some stories. This right over here is the Hard Rock Cafe. And I have been in there once before. And the one time that I was in there, I was there to see a ska show. And it was actually real big fish that I was going to see. And I was very, very excited about that. I'm going there with a few friends. We're inside the show, like the first band is about to start. Real Big Fish hasn't even played yet. And of course, again, it's a ska show. So everyone starts going in a mosh pit. They start skanking. It's a ska show. That's what you do at ska shows. You skank. Um, you go in a mosh pit. If you don't know what it is, look it up. But anyway, um, they kicked they kicked everyone out. They kicked everyone out who was in that mosh pit, and including one of my including one of my friends. So I actually went outside and hung out with him out here, right behind me here. And uh, because it wasn't fair, like it's a ska show, you should be able to you should be able to have a mosh pit and skank at a ska show. That's like half of the show is dancing, essentially is dancing. And uh, so the fact that they wouldn't let everyone dance was kind of, well, it was a little weird. Uh, so I stood, even though I wasn't in the mosh pit, I stood outside and hung out with my friend uh, until the end of the show because the rest of our friends decided to stay in. But I'm one of those where like, I go down with the ship sort of thing. And uh, yeah, so that's my, that's my Hard Rock Cafe story. I really hope that they have loosened up on the rules there or I don't know, don't have ska shows there because that's what people do again. They, they do they do the mosh pit, or at least they did back, back in my day. When I got here a second ago, it said that the English Beat, which is a band, was playing here at the Hard Rock, which is also a ska band. So I hope, please, Hard Rock, please allow skanking. Please. Obviously we can't come to City Walk and not talk about the chocolate elephant in the room. This is the Tootsum Chocolate Emporium. I remember waiting and watching for this to be built. And uh, it's been here now for quite a while. And um, basically it's, it's kind of exactly what it sounds like. It uh, has a bunch of food options. A lot of them involve chocolate. And uh, of course they have desserts as well. They have like these really huge um, milkshake things that you can get. I'll go inside and hopefully show you. Basically this is kind of like a steampunk type deal. Like you can see the metal piping up here. That's kind of the look that they're going for. But up there you can see that they have all kinds of different desserts and they are humongous. They are so big and they put like all kinds of stuff on it chocolate brownies cake all kinds of all kinds of things by the way i would not recommend this on a hot florida day and if you are lactose intolerant don't ask me why just just don't do it again the last time i was here was with tampa j we came here on new year's day we did not go to islands of adventure we kind of just stood outside of it because I wanted to see if they would be playing the Islands of Adventure music. And they weren't, it was Christmas. They were playing Christmas music. But ladies and gentlemen, they're playing the music now. Oh man. This is, um, this is the best part of Islands of Adventure to me, is the music. Okay, I gotta find a speaker. I really hope this music isn't copyrighted like the whole point of me coming here. I'm not even joking. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> oh, it's so good. There's nothing like that music. There's nothing like that music. Hey, who else lives for theme park music? I cannot be the only one. I'm serious, folks. Like, before when I wasn't in Florida, like when I lived in Arizona, Oregon, places that didn't have, you know, Islands of Adventure, Disney, things like that, 
um, I would YouTube this music and other places, like other theme parks, other attractions, things like that. Um, music that I've missed. And I would just YouTube it and I would just play it on repeat and just listen to it because this is like so soothing to me. This music, it's so good. If you're the same way, please let me know below in the comments. I can't be the only one. We are heading out of Islands of Adventure spot now going over the bridge, heading back into the city walk area. But I wanted to point out, there is also a crosswalk down here as well, where that boat is going just around, just around the river bend there. Looks like this is a spot that I can walk down, uh, walk down as well. So, this is uh, probably gonna be a longer video than I, than I even anticipated. Now, I already anticipated it being pretty darn long. Actually kind of fitting as we are right outside of Margaritaville's Porch of Indecision as I am standing here trying to make a decision. And I think what I'm gonna do is head that way. We're gonna go down the walkway that I was just showing. The sign is saying that is towards a few hotels including the Cabana Bay Resort which I'm hoping that I can see in person. Heading down the path now, down this way. No idea what we're gonna come, come up against. This is uncharted territory for me. And I'm very, very, very excited about it. Again, if you're familiar with the channel, this is the sort of thing I really like to do. I like exploring these areas, exploring hotels, seeing how far I can get, <laughs> basically. How far can I walk before I have to <laughs> have to pay money <laughs> to go to go any further. So also this is a lovely walk. The uh, water here is really really pretty. Everyone's like, why are they? Why is that weird girl filming me on this boat? Look, people. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to show this stuff. This is a lovely walk. A lovely little path to go down. Oh, and look at that. Timed it just in time again for the boat. But yeah, this is, this is really nice. It's very peaceful. My favorite thing about it are the theme park noises in the background because the Incredible Hulk and the Doctor Doom Droppy Ride is right over there, right beyond this beautiful tree. Right over there. So every now and then, as it's kind of nice and quiet here on this path, I hear Roar! and that's like the Hulk ride. <laughs> And then the sound of the Doctor Doom ride, I don't know if you could hear that just now, but the whoosh sound that it makes. I don't know. I grew up in theme parks. There, oh, I hope you, I hope you heard the Hulk just now. But uh, yeah, I grew up in theme parks. So like listening, to, hearing those sounds like is really peaceful and comforting to me. And by the way, camera I think is working out great. I've been stopping and checking what I've been filming so far to make sure the audio has been okay and the video and all of that stuff. I think it's alright. And it's really nice to just be able to use my phone as a phone. A novel, novel concept. But here we are. Been able to take pictures and text and do all the normal stuff that you do with phones. So it's just, this is so nice. It's so nice to have a camera. Now I know this isn't as exciting as actually going on like the Hulk ride. And uh, you know, going on rides, going inside of the theme park. I'm trying to get used to looking at the lens too. Every now and then you'll see me like look up here because that's where the thing is on my camera. I'm getting used to the camera anyway. But this is what I do. <laughs> now if I had access to the theme parks, maybe I would think about going in there. But honestly, probably not because I want to show this sort of thing as well. Um, I haven't really seen this on uh, on YouTube before. 
No one, I don't think I've ever seen anybody walk down this path, or at least I haven't, haven't looked for it. Also, frog alert. This place is already losing points. But um, anyway, I wanted to show this to you, and I also got some requests for people from people asking me to show City Walk specifically. So hopefully, this is doing it for y'all. This is really cool. I'm having a great time. I'm. This is like my perfect weekend right here. Just wish Jay was here. That's all. But that's okay. He's doing something far more interesting, I'm sure. But anyway, right behind me, we have found the pool, as promised. Also. There's a nice little beach here. Pool access here, it is not bumping, which is I guess not kind of surprising. It's it's a little cold, it's a little chilly out here. Um, looks like you need a key to actually walk in there. And uh, obviously I don't have a key, so we're gonna keep going this way. Here is the water taxi dock. So this is where it would drop you off, right over here. Also a nice, really nice little beach area here too there's no there's no chairs here so you can't sit here also i have no idea what hotel this is that is just now occurring to me i have no clue i don't think this is cabana bay i think that's cabana bay so i have no clue what this is let's find out my question is answered we are at the lowe's royal i think that's how it's pronounced lowe's royal pacific resort that's where we are at. Here is some signage, a map of what we are dealing with. We are all the way up here. This is a, looks like a pretty darn big hotel. Also, they're playing Smash Mouth out there. That's awesome. This is a really nice hotel from what I can tell just from the outside here. Looks like it has like a kind of Asian theme to it. And, um, I'm actually getting severe deja vu. Like I've been here before, but I'm pretty sure I've never, I'm pretty sure I've never been here before. I can't remember. And I just realized that the song that they were playing, the Smash Mouth song that they were playing, that's one of uh, Tampa J's and I's, uh, it's definitely not how you say that sentence. Um, but that's one of our songs, I'm a Believer. Not, not the Smash Mouth version, the monkeys, the monkeys version. Still, good song. So the section that we've stumbled upon for this resort, I'm realizing is like the conference center, like ballroom meeting areas in here. So there's no like, I mean, I could find the main lobby if I wanted to, obviously, but that's not where we ended up. The path keeps going this way. So I think I'm gonna keep going. I'm wrong. Everyone's probably been yelling at their screens. That's not Cabana Bay, you idiot. We are at the, we're still at the Lowe's. Lois, Lowe's? But we're at the Sapphire Falls Resort. And here is a map of that. And I think this time, let's see, we are here. And I think yeah, number 13, we're up here. The main lobby right in here, I'm gonna assume. I think I'm gonna head inside. Just walked in the door, and this is pretty interesting so far. Always a certain amount of trepidation whenever I do these things. The trick is walk with confidence, blend in. Okay, this is Odd, cool, but odd. I think I am heading towards the lobby now. So I have secured some coffee right in here, a place called New Dutch Trading Company. And then right across the street, look, another Universal Studios store. So if you forgot some stuff, you can always get it here. Well, wherever I am, this is a very beautiful resort. Really gorgeous pool out there. Oh, what I would give for a pool day. Maybe sometime I'll have to make that happen. But yeah, just walking down this hallway. Okay, this is the goal. I wanna try to get down here if I can. I walked this direction thinking maybe there would be a stairwell, but there isn't. These are 
towards the guest rooms, which I do not want to do. So, elevator it is. Get the elevator, okay. Uh, back to the lobby. That was not, that was not the floor I, I wanted. It's okay, it's only an adventure. Going on an adventure, okay. All right, obviously, back outside now. Uh, I was unsuccessful to get to that spot, which is essentially along this way here. From what I could tell, you had to have pool access to get to the spot, like down there where you could go down that sidewalk. Which, honestly, you know, if I went back to my pool hopping days, I probably could have figured that out, but it's okay. See right across the lake here? We're walking back the way we came, by the way. That's where I was trying to get to. It was along there, but that's fine. See, I think beyond in there is where the pool is. And you can kind of see right in there, there's gates. So you had to have pool access to get past those gates and then along the sidewalk here. It's so weird, it's like they don't want uh, non-hotel guests walking around their property. Crazy. Also think potentially I could have walked through the what they're calling the guest houses which are obviously where the guest rooms are. I'm assuming there's probably stairs that I could have gone down maybe along this shaft thing here and out through those doors and then onto the sidewalk. But that's okay. You know what? We can save that for another adventure. We still got a heck of a lot to cover. Oh man, and we've already been here for like a few hours. Also, I think, <laughs> I'm just gonna speculate again, that building here in the background, I think that's Cabana Bay. Um, I have no idea if I can walk there if I can do that or if I have to like I don't know take a bus or if I have to drive there I have no clue again we're gonna save that for another adventure I'm gonna save that for another adventure this video's coffee is sponsored by Bullwinkle J Moose who has supported this channel I mean to no end uh, he is or I'm assuming it's a he they I should say they are a member of the channel. They are a coffee buddy of mine, as well as they have donated several coffees, many, many coffees to the channel. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it so much. You have no idea, like the support, it just, it blows my mind, your kindness. It, it really, really does. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sponsoring this video's coffee. Also, I got some snacks at that place. Got some Doritos and, uh, and an Uncrustable. Cause why not? And that, plus the coffee, sorry I'm uncrinkling my wrapper here, my receipt rather. It came to just about $10, nine, $9.59 for this. So now I am $27 plus so about $37 now in the hole here. That's how much I've spent so far. And I'm sitting, I'm, I'm back here where, the, uh, where we saw those chairs a bit earlier on that little beach. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my snacks now. Just give me a moment here. funny because several boats have obviously gone by and um, it just now occurred to me that all of them are just kind of watching me awkwardly sit here on the beach literally shoving shoving Doritos down my throat so that's cool heading back just about actually to head back into city walk right now kind of just been walking along the path that I already showed you, just enjoying it. We made it through security, back to the porch of indecision, 
and back into the fray, back into the noise. This time we're gonna head this way. It does feel significantly more busy in this area. I think there's a few school groups here today, but I just wanted to point out the sign here because we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go up and I'm gonna show you the stuff up here first. Up here, as I kind of mentioned before, this is more of like the nightlife, the clubs and restaurants, things like that up here. So immediately we're greeted with entojitos, authentic Mexican food, which I hear is pretty good. I've never eaten there before. I also wanted to point out the restrooms. These are great out of the way restrooms that uh, you can come up to and they're usually not too terribly busy. Now I'm sure they're pretty darn busy, you know, at nighttime when this area is bumping. But during the day and early in the morning when no one's up here, those are, the, those are the bathrooms to go to right over there. We talk about bathrooms on this channel, that's right. There's a Fat Tuesdays over here. And um, what we're gonna find is that a lot of these places sell, obviously, alcohol. As I have mentioned, this is the club scene, this is the party scene where the youth come and they have their drinks and their dancing. Nightly city walk, promenade, dining, dancing, cocktails. That sums it up. Rising Star Karaoke Bar. Now what's really cool about this particular karaoke bar it's not just any karaoke bar where you have like those weird little horrible karaoke boxes, you know what I mean? Uh, if you've been, well, if you've ever been karaoke, karaokeing, this one has a live band. So you can pick whatever song you want to do and then a live band actually plays uh, with you while, while you sing up on stage. So yeah, rising star. Maybe asking yourself, self, how does she know so much about this particular spot? Well, I have I have spent one night, I spent one night here actually going to the clubs uh, up here in City Walk. Way, 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 way back in the, way back in the day. Um, I don't really do that anymore, <laughs> like at all. Um, but it was really fun. I had a really, really good time. Now again, like this was a long time ago. We're talking, I think, like about a decade or so, like eight, nine years, something like that. It's been a while, but um, so I don't know, like things have probably changed. I have, I have no clue. Do kids even dance anymore? I, I don't know. But um, back in my, back in my day, we did. And um, yes, yeah, so I, I did go clubbing up here once. Oh no, wait, twice because I went to the Rising Star before. Yeah, I've been there before one night and then another night, a different night, I went to a, a few different clubs around here. Um, and uh, I'll give you another story in a little bit, but I just wanted to say that it did actually, it did actually happen. A lot of these clubs have a spot where you can go directly up to the window here, just buy drinks and then walk around uh, city walk. You don't have to go inside to get your beverages, so you can keep that in mind as well. Here is the last club that I think we're gonna come up against, the Red Coconut Club. Dancing and cocktails nightly. One story that I will share. When I was here, uh, we were here at the Red Coconut Club with, with a bunch of friends. I was here with a bunch of girlfriends. And um, we were dancing, having a good time. And um, it was near the end of the night. We were all getting ready to leave. We were paying up at the bar. And um, a guy came up to me and he asked me very, very politely if I would like to dance. And um, I, I had to say no because we were leaving. And um, you know, all of my friends, my ride, like we were, we were leaving for the night. So I, I apologized and he said, no, we're going, etc. But um, I have to say, I feel really bad about it. I feel bad about it. I still feel really bad about it. Um, because he was very polite. He was actually very polite. Usually guys at bars are like, eh, kind of skeezy. Sorry if you're a guy at a bar. But he was very polite. And some, I still think about that moment for some reason. Um, now obviously, you know, I'm with the person that I'm supposed to be with, so it doesn't matter. But I just, I, I don't know, I just feel bad about it. I would have, if you're out there, if you're watching and you remember that, by chance, I'm sorry. 
and I still think about that moment and I would have danced with you if I had the time. Lots of outdoor seating up here as well. Here are the escalators that you can take up or down to get up or down from here. There is the Moe's right across the way there. Looks like it is bumping and a um, few other things as well that I pointed out at the beginning of the video. Here is an eagle eye view of the mini golf course. So you can see it looks pretty darn cool. At some point, maybe I'll do this. Just come here specifically to do some mini golf. Coming up on the bread box, which we saw earlier, handcrafted sandwiches. Moe's is on my left, as well as the Panda Express. Here is the tattoo company. We're heading back down now, back to the Voodoo Donuts. So hopefully that gives you a decent idea of uh, the main, main city walk area. Just wanted to point out the boats really quick. So here are where the boats dock. If you are taking the boats from your hotels, this is where they will drop you off, right in the middle, right in the hub of City Walk. Here is some signage. So this way is towards the Hard Rock Hotel and the Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. And holy moly are they blasting the Mardi Gras music right out here. Okay, we're gonna head out now. Don't mean to overplay my entire City Walk hand here, if you will. And what I mean by that is we're seeing, we're seeing a lot today. We are seeing a whole lot today. Uh, this is gonna be a long video, I have a feeling. But um, I'll be back. I haven't shared all of my stories. I still have plenty of stories about City Walk, about Universal. And honestly, I just really wanted to walk down here. I just really wanted to walk down here. So we're doing it anyway. So look how really beautiful this path is already. That's where we just were walking down now we are on a bridge now there is the bridge that you go over to get to universal you can see the universal ball right in there this is it's a very lovely trail so far come through universal let's go this is beautiful this is really really pretty look at the water it's such a gorgeous color and this pathway is like really nicely shaded, gorgeously landscaped. Listen, Universal is not here to play. It's walking along this windy pathway close to the water. There was another pathway I'm assuming is more direct. You can see the people walking through the trees now. That goes that way towards the hotels, but they have this option here the road less taken of course we're gonna take that road we're not in a hurry anyway this is really nice this is really nice universal who knew Who knew? Genuine reaction. Genuine reaction. And I will tell you why. Also, beautiful hotel back here. But look at this, more important. Look at this, look at this. What is this? What is this? This is a garden. This is a garden. There's butterflies, pollinators, all around here. Look at the flowers. It is beautifully landscaped. There is no one else here. Wow. Here's this hotel that we have been walking next to is the Hard Rock Hotel. Looks like they are definitely doing a bit of construction out here, expanding upon it. But very cool. I don't think I'm gonna go inside. Just wanted to show really quick. It's very possible that many of you are watching this and you're like, well, yeah, duh, Chris. 
all of this has existed back here before we knew about it and this isn't interesting and that's fair enough I didn't I had no idea any of this existed I've never walked back here before in my life always wanted to never did so this is new this is new to me and um, I think that there's probably a few people out here out there who uh, didn't know about this either so hopefully I can help people out help families out etc they're planning a trip to Universal this is uh this is here walking into some more tunnels this is obviously the path that the boat goes down and I'm a little floored by what I'm seeing up ahead of me so this is the Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel over here this is gorgeous I had once again no idea this was out here. It kind of looks like it's themed to maybe Italy or something. I see a bunch of, uh, I want to say canoes, but that's not what they have. Gondolas, gondolas, I think, out there in the water. Wow. I'm legitimately floored. I think I'm going to save a tour of this for another day. Just kind of wanted to show the outside of it really quick. Looks like they have a Universal Studios store here as well. There is a Starbucks, very important. And it seems like most of these on the sides here are the hotels, the actual guest rooms. And there's a restaurant right over there. And it is indeed themed to, uh, to Italy. The flags, uh, wait, these flags here, Italy flags and uh, gondolas out here. It's actually interesting this whole this kind of ramp that I'm standing on is like a boat ramp even though obviously boats are not coming out here like in real life. So very very interesting. I can't imagine how many people are like getting in this water here quite frankly. Yeah the theming here is really neat. There's a bunch of these little fanciful Vespas all around again themed to Italy. Yeah, I'm very impressed. I'm excited to check this out someday. Okay, I see what this is now. It's a duck ramp. That's why it's here. The, duck, the ducks just kind of float on up here and then bam, on their feet. That's what, that's what the ramp's for, clearly. I went ahead and got myself a fancy water from the Starbucks behind me, which by the way, shout out to them the um, person running the cashier was super cool. She complimented me on my nose ring. Just saying. Anyway, um, I think I decided since I got myself a water, which was $5 by the way, plus the tip that I put on. $5 plus tip. It was a $4 bottle of water plus a dollar tip that I gave them. That's what I'm trying to say. So now I'm 40 something odd in the hole. I'll do the math and at the end of the video. But anyway, wanted to say now I have a bottle of water I think I'm actually just gonna walk back walk back the way that I came instead of doing like the water taxi thing um, I just don't feel like waiting I don't feel like waiting for the boat and you all know what a boats like and I've been shooting the boat I've been filming the boat this whole time so it's not gonna be anything like thrilling I think for you all so I'm gonna skip the boat I'm gonna walk back the way that I came and um, plus on top of that, like, I don't get a lot of exercise during the actual week. This, like the weekends are my exercise weekend, so I wanna, I wanna walk, I'd rather walk. So that's, that's the plan. Just wanted to get you all up to date. Here comes another helicopter. It has been helicopter city up in here. Helicopter city. So peaceful. I'm really glad I decided to walk. For the record though, that's the boat I would have been on if I chose to wait for it. I would have been on that boat. That's okay. It's only ever so slightly 
ahead of us. You know what's crazy though? How well I can hear Universal's Mardi Gras music. From all the way the heck over here. Truly Universal. Calm down. Back inside of City Walk, right out front of Universal, where they really, really, really want you to know it's uh, it's Mardi Gras. Okay, I think, I think we're gonna head out now. And that, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope that you all had a great time. I know I did. This is again one of my most favorite things to do, is just to walk around, explore, find new areas that I've never been before, and of course, take you all along with me. And hopefully this tour has been helpful um, and enjoyable for everyone who, who asked for it. Um, and thank you for asking for it. I, I'm always taking suggestions, I'm always up for suggestions of things that you all wanna see. It's not just about me like doing the things that I wanna do, but it's about you all seeing me do stuff as well. You, you know, you seeing me do the stuff that you want to see me do. There had to have been a better way to say that, but here we are. Anyway, um, I think, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna head out now. Got a long drive ahead of me, and I obviously gotta edit this video. Also, camera worked out great, as far as I can tell. Um, I didn't really have any issues with it at all. Now, uh, we'll see what happens when I actually get home and edit the footage. <laughs> Fingers crossed, everything is fine. <laughs> oh man, but I think it'll be fine. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, okay, I'm gonna see you all next time. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. I ended up being $42, give or take, in the hole after this trip. So $27 for parking, about $10 or so for the Uncrustable, the Doritos, the coffee, and then another 5 for the bottle of water. So I think that comes out to $42 if my math is correct. Now obviously, I didn't have to buy a lot of those things. The food, the drinks, etc. Um, that was on me. So if you come here and you bring your own stuff, your own drink and food, you'd only be $27 in the hole for parking. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, that's where I'm at with the money, okay. Back to the car, gonna head home, waiting for my video to upload. And there is a uh, career expo apparently, March 21st and 22nd for Advent Health. So there you go, if you're looking for a job. Okay, thank you all again for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.